I think your biggest issue in League of Legends is lack of consistency in your results. Yes, you heard me right. I don't think that you are a bad player. I don't think that you need to learn a lot of things to climb higher. I think you can climb at least one league up in the next month if you will just fix your consistency issue. How can you do it? Well, let's talk about it. Look guys, I'm an ultimate failure in terms of esports. I spent all of my youth playing different games trying to become pro at them. Warcraft 3, Starcraft 2, League of Legends. Total of about 15 years of my life. I was also slightly involved in coaching and managing some teams and players. I tried streaming and nowadays I'm doing YouTube videos. Basically I tried it all. I always got a nice start in everything I've done. However, I wasn't one of those guys that were good right from the start. I was just slightly better than most of others. Middle ground, that's my name. Unfortunately, at some point I always start to stagnate in everything I do. I start to plateau and eventually sink in my own fear over analysis, anger and disappointment. At this point you're probably wondering, what does it have to do with your gameplay consistency in League of Legends? Let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever felt that all of the guys you watched helped you to understand a lot of things and yet it did nothing to your rank? Have you ever felt that you gave all of you and yet you still lost the game? Have you ever felt that you've tried your best and yet failed? If you answered yes at least once, I think I have a solution for you. Solution which I began to apply to myself and which is already helping me with issues that I described in questions earlier. Let's take a look at how exactly that solution helped me. Here is the result of my last 10 games. Some of you might say, listen buddy, last 10 games are cool and dull, but everyone has a lucky win streaks. I agree with that statement, so let's take a look at last 30 games. Boys, lads, boys, lads, he's just lucky for the last few weeks and trying to get a counter to out of it. This is what most skeptical people will say now, and you know what? I do understand this too, so let's take a look at last 40 games. Still 80% win rate. Even if we will dig super deep and take a look at last 60 games, we still have 70% win rate. All because of the solution I found out. I didn't change anything in my game except for it. Alright, I think it's time to reveal the solution. The solution is discipline. Yes, getting disciplined is what will give you 80% win rate. However, I'm not talking about exhausting discipline that forces you to do things that you fundamentally don't like. It's a different type of discipline. I will let one of my favorite actors, Will Smith, explain what exactly do I mean. And then I will elaborate on how can you use this discipline in order to climb in League of Legends. I believe that self-discipline is the definition of self-love. That when you say that you love yourself, that means that you have behavior towards yourself that is loving. It's like you say to yourself, hey man, look, I know you want to eat that pizza and it'll be really good, you know, but I can't let you eat that, man, because if, if you eat that pizza, you're going to feel like shit, you know, and I, I just, I love you too much to let you eat that. Now, when we came to conclusions that discipline is something that not only can help us, but also can be somewhat pleasurable, let's bring it directly into League of Legends setting. I will split vague term discipline into three concrete concepts. Champion pool, your condition in real life, and in-game discipline. I already see how some of you think, ok, I've heard this a lot, I'm out. Please bear with me, my points are slightly different and go more in depth. The most common advice in regards to being disciplined with your champion pool is to choose two roles and choose two champions for each role. This is a good advice, but usually after this people are thinking to choose champions with two different playstyles. So you can pick them depending on the situation. This is a good advice if your goal to get better, but if your goal is to get high win rate, this is a bad advice. Let's be real, low elo games, which is like until diamond 1, aren't about team composition, they are about individual skill and ability to make a good macro oriented decisions. Here is how I went about it. I asked myself, what type of champions suit me better, early game champions or late game champions? For me answer was obvious, late game champions. But for you the answer might be different or unclear. If this happens, use OPGG and check what champions did you play at least 20-25 times and have a good win rate with them. I found that information from the current and previous season is the most relevant for today's you. But you can also take a look at all the data if champions were changed much from that times. Through this selection I landed onto three champions, Vladimir and Kale for top lane and Malzahar for mid lane. 
obviously you will have your own champions for yourself. What's interesting is that when I decided that I want to have one more champion for mid lane and started to play Kassadin, I started doing well with him basically straight away. I think the reason for that is that he's another late game scaling champion, which is the type of champions that I know how to play with. Here I want to make a small remark. I know that the best ever playstyle for climbing in high win rates is to pick early game champion, win your lane hard and start snowballing the game either through slit pushing or roaming. I was a victim of this idea. I knew this is the most efficient way to climb, so I've tried to play Jace and Adrix before Nurse. When I was smurfing I used Irrevoked Shaiko and Caitlyn. Needless to say results weren't great, in the best case scenario I was floating around 50% win rate. If you are a blank list and don't have a big MOBA history behind you, then I suggest to try and learn early game champions, this is the hardest but most efficient playstyle. However, if you are like me and play the late game champions or tanks or supportive champions a lot, don't drop them. You can climb with them just fine. Yes, it will take more time than climbing with Jay Celeblan, but you know what will take even more time? Trying to learn early game champions from zero. You should be disciplined in regards to the conditions you are playing in. Look, everyone has bad days, everyone feels lazy and sometimes everyone feels exhausted after a long day of work, study or whatever you do. Here are the simple rules that you must follow if you want to be able to climb. Don't play in your main account when you are not in your best conditions. In order to give yourself permission to play on your main account, you should feel fresh and happy. Getting good win rates is a specific type of joy. It's the same type of joy that you get after doing a good productive workout or finishing long and hard but interesting task. You get into a game and get positive emotions by leaving everything you know and can in the game. If this game happened to be a win, you double these positive emotions. If not, you just queue for another game, knowing that you tried your best and sometimes, just like in real life, you fail because of the things you can't control. Obviously, in order to be able to leave everything you have in the game, you have to be in your best possible mental and physical conditions. Second rule regarding your conditions is about using champions you know everything about. If you want to play at your main account, you should play only with your best champions. Champions that you've chosen in step 1. You are not allowed to pick other champions on your main account. Dodge if you can't choose them. Look, I'm a person that gets bored from one champion quite fast. 10, 15 games maximum and I want to try something new. However, during my 80% win rate run, I never tried anything new on my main account. If I felt quirky, I just went onto my second account. I still want to learn Jace and Atrix, so I study them on my second account. It is not like I'm not trying to climb on my second ID. I still play seriously there, but I do it with champions that I'm not good with in order one day to become good at them. Obviously, fact that I'm not playing my best champions hinders my ability to win games by a lot. And this is why I never use them on my main ID. By the way, do you remember Kassadin? Even so I believe that I'm good with him, I still play this champion only at my second account. Why? Well, because something inside of me isn't confident enough that I can pull off 80% win race with this champion. When I look in my main champions, I'm 100% sure that I will win. When I look in Kassadin, my confidence is about 70-80%, which is not good enough. But it's ok, eventually I will get it to 100%. In game discipline is the hardest discipline of all, because you need to control yourself while being in the middle of an emotion storm that you enter when new game starts. First of all, stop using chat. Seriously, mute all at the start of a game. This 10% of useful information that you will get from chat isn't worth disturbing yourself with other information, which is going to be completely useless. In regards to pings, everyone has different approaches. At first I was muting all pings right at the start of a game. It is not that hard to constantly know what is going on in the low yield game, because game is very slow and very basic. However, after some time I realized that I am not faker, and even with full concentration I still can't notice everything simply because my ability to read them up isn't on the needed level. This is when I stopped muting all pings right at the start of the game. Instead, I started to mute pings of certain players after the first time the flame pinged anyone. In my opinion, if someone is capable of flame ping, he will probably do it and I don't want to get angry or tilted because of it. Ok, chat and pings are important, but what is more important are your emotions. Two most common negative emotions that you will experience in League of Legends are rage and tilt. Here is our plan on how to deal with them. Hello 1. We will stop typing in chat anything but someone has spell timings. Level 2. 
We will stop verbally cursing our teammates and flamping them. Level 3. We will stop tilting and make a big deal of teammates' mistakes. Level transcendent into other dimension. We will stop caring about skill level of our teammates. You need to understand that you can't stop having negative emotions about things that disappoint you and this is fine. People that joined my Discord had a chance to take a look at XSKT support player Wolf stream highlight, where he talked about how different current pro players reach while playing League of Legends. In this video he was talking about himself, Peanut, Bank, Puchmandu, he even talked about how Faker rages when he's not on camera. For me this video is a proof that everyone rages at tilts, even the best of the best. So, our ultimate goal is to either let emotions happen, but their existence shouldn't affect our performance. Or these emotions shouldn't happen at all, simply because you can't be bothered by the problems that are happening to you. I've tried a lot of techniques in order to deal with rage and tilt. If you are interested in trying them, I suggest you to read this book. Or you can just wait until I will do a series of videos about them, where I will explain these techniques and how to use them in League of Legends. With all that being said, there was a one particular technique that helped me almost immediately. This technique is called using your logic. You need to understand that this technique won't fit the root of your emotional problems. So you won't get rid of the emotions, but you will be able to stop emotions from affecting your gameplay. The first step is to learn to notice when you start losing control over yourself. For me it was relatively simple. My flames started to hurt me only when I started to type in chat. So. Every time I start to type something in chat, I force myself to stop and literally tell myself, sometimes even out loud. I think you might be flaming right now. Take a second before sending a message, because if you are flaming, you might get banned. In a split second when I stop to type, I do a second step. I force myself to start to breathe deeply. Third step of this technique is using your logic. In my case, I just read what did I just write. Usually I find that message is either not acceptable because it has words that might get me chat banned, like clown, dumbo and others. Or I realize that if I will send this message, I will start a shit storm in the chat, which almost always leads to me losing a game. After you stopped yourself from doing stupid things, you can move on to this fourth step. Because let's be real, you are still angry or tilted at this point. Fourth step is to focus on your game plan. Look. When you are playing click, you need to think about 4 champions at the same time. You need to understand what are they doing right now, why are they doing this, what can happen because of it and what is the most effective way to answer to this. This insanely intensive analysis performed in real time and can be perfectly done by a human brain. If you will force yourself to focus on this analysis, your brain just won't have time to think about emotions. Your goal right now is to try to zone out from evaluation of the things you will see on the map. If something bad happens, don't think that this is bad. Think about what can you do to minimize your disadvantage and if you can't do anything, just move on like in real life. If you will follow these simple steps, you will win more games and, as a result, you will get into a high eel for sure. However, you also need to keep in mind three things. First. Your level of gameplay isn't a certain number, it is a mathematical segment that your current league and division is a arithmetical mean between best year and worst year. This means that your skill is something that is 2 divisions higher on a good day and 2 divisions lower on a bad day. For example, your ill is gold 2, that means that your gameplay level fluctuates between gold 4 on a bad day and platinum 4 on a good day. This climbing technique allows you to show only best version of yourself, that platinum 4 chat. Second, most players are actually very good in one or two ways to play the game, but they are very bad at others. If they would have always used these two ways, they would have been way higher than right now, but they keep using random ways every game. For example, when I am playing late game scaling champions in the mid and top lane, my best me is a diamond player. However, if I pick early game top or mid lane champion, I will play like a platinum player. And if I pick early game jungle champion, my skill will be a run god level player. Basically, my tips will help you a lot if you will use them in combination with your strong sides, but if you will use them with something that isn't your strengths, your win rate will increase only slightly. Third, these tips won't do anything to your skill. These tips do not help you to get better, because getting better is about taking your weak sides and making them less vulnerable. While my tips take your strong sides and force you to focus only on them every time you play on your main account. Ok guys, if you like this video leave a like and if you didn't leave a dislike. If you are leaving dislike, write in comments why did you do this, so I can reflect on your critique. 
If you are leaving a like, please write something encouraging. It makes me more motivated to do videos more often. There is no reason to write an essay, something as easy as good job or thank you will help a lot too. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell, so YouTube sends you an notice every time I release a new video. Because without bell, YouTube often doesn't show you my videos in the subscription section. Have a nice day.